do we know whether an object in motion is travelling faster or slower than another object? Consider two objects, object 1 and object 2, both moving along the same path. Just by looking at their motion, can you tell me which one of them is moving faster? Clearly, this one is moving faster. In comparison to object 1, object 2 keeps lagging behind. Hence, we say that the speed of object 1 is more than the speed of object 2. Speed is that physical quantity which tells us how fast something is moving. How do we define it? In order to know the speed of an object, there are just two things we need to know. First, the distance travelled by an object in motion and second, the time it takes to complete that distance. Consider a car moving on a straight road. First of all, can you tell the type of motion it's undergoing? Since it's moving in a straight line, it's in a rectilinear motion. Suppose the time it takes to reach the other side is 30 seconds. Now consider another car which is similar to the first one. It's also moving in a straight line path adjacent to the first one. The time taken by this red car to cover the same length of the road is 40 seconds. The blue car covered the path length in 30 seconds, while the red car covered the same path length in 40 seconds. Which one of them was moving with greater speed? By intuition, we can say that the blue coloured car was travelling at a greater speed than the red one. Why? Because the blue car covered the same distance in lesser time. Let the length of this path be 420 metres. This path length is nothing but the distance that the car travels in a given amount of time. Now for each object, if we take the ratio of the total distance covered and the time required to cover that distance, we will get this. This ratio is called the speed of the object. Yes, speed is distance over time. Since this ratio is greater than this one, it means that the blue car travelled with greater speed. Let's bring in a third car which covers the same distance in 20 seconds. So what is its speed then? The speed is 420 meters over 20 seconds which will give us 21 meters per second. And you can see that this ratio is the greatest of all. Now I want you to look at the units. Meters per second is one of the units of speed. There are many such units of speed that you must be aware of. For example, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, feet per minute and so on. We will discuss more about these units in our future videos. Let's discuss something interesting now. Look at the example of one of the cars. See car A. The only information I gave you was that it covers 420 meters in 30 seconds. That gave us the speed as 14 meters per second. I want you to answer the next question I'm asking you. In this example, can we say that the speed of the car A is constant throughout this distance? Are we saying that the car is covering 14 meters every second throughout the path? No, that's not what we're implying. Because maybe the car is moving at a really fast speed initially and then it slows down in the middle and then stops and then again speeds up. So this speed does not imply that the speed is constant at 14 meters per second throughout. So what is the speed then? The speed we calculated here is the average speed. In fact, in all the three examples, it was average speed. How do we define it? Average speed is defined as the total distance travelled by an object divided by the total time taken. We will continue to discuss more about average speed in our next video.